Hello all, welcome to part 16 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to practically show you how to use background Gherkin keyword in the feature files. So let's get started. Let's switch to this Eclipse IDE where we have different feature files like, for example, login.featurefile is there in this project, which we have created in the previous sessions, right? Login, register and search, three things are there. Let's open the login.feature file. And here you can clearly see there are scenarios. There are five scenarios. Scenario 1, Scenario 2, Scenario 3, Scenario 4, and Scenario 5. So now observe the prerequisite steps which are common across all these five scenarios. Okay, let's read the first scenario from given step. Okay, given user navigates to login page. Okay, you see this is the first step. Is this step common in the next scenarios? Yes, given user navigates to login page. Same. Given user navigates to login page, which is same. Given user navigates to login page, which is same. And given user navigates to login page, which is also same. Five in, a, five, uh, in five scenarios, first step is common, right? First prerequisite step is common. What about the second step? When user enters valid email address, so and so. When user enters invalid, which is not same. Enters valid is different from enters invalid. So we cannot treat that as a common one okay valid email address here invalid email address it's not kind of same user don't enter any credentials so only one step one step is can be considered as a prerequisite here from second step onwards uh, it's differing in all the scenarios so what we can do is we can reduce the number of steps here okay by creating a gherkin keyword here known as background put a colon and now get this given and uh, paste it here that's it okay you can actually write this under this also, okay? This is also fine. Background given. And this line you are reducing, right? Here you don't have to write the same step, okay? This is a common step, common prerequisite step. From second step onwards, things are changing in the scenarios. But first step is common across all the scenarios. So this kind of common prerequisite steps you can put under the background. And this background will be executed before every scenario base. For every scenario, background step will be executed, okay? So remove this uh, common step. We, we this is for reducing the number of lines guys nothing much okay it's optional if whether you want to do this or not up to you whether you want to use a background keyword is up to you guys okay if, if that is a uh, uh, kind of uh, reducing the number of lines in your feature files because in feature files there will be hundreds of scenarios and if you create this single background it will save a number of lot of number of lines right so in less number of lines you can uh, complete the scenarios that's the purpose of the background keyword now go to the register dot feature and here let's see what is happening Register with mandatory fields. User navigates to register account page. 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 Four scenarios having the same step. User enters first name. User enters first name, which is same. Uh, what about this one? User uh, don't enter is there. That is not common. Second step onwards is not common, guys. Okay, only first step is common. Here, user enters first name. So in one of the scenarios, the second step is not common. So I'll take only one step here also. Copy this. Okay, prerequisite step, prerequisite common step, guys. Okay, from the beginning up to which part it is common across all the scenarios you have to see. Okay, if I compare all these four scenarios in this feature file, only the first step is common, remaining all are not common. Okay, again, background colon right down here, remove this step from all the scenarios. Okay, this is a common step, common prerequisite step, you can say. Okay, remove this, remove this. That's it, four scenarios. You will use the same background step. Okay, now go to search dot feature. Here also, let's see, user opens application, user opens application, user opens application, which is same. User enters valid product into such field, user enters non-existing product, which is not common. User don't enter is not, again, not common. Only one step here also. Okay, one quick side step. If you have multiple steps, which are common in any of the feature files, you can write that multiple steps under this background keyword, Gherkin keyword. Okay, that's okay, but here, for these examples or as for the examples or feature files that I have taken, only one step is coming as common. But here you can have multiple preset steps if, if they are common across all the scenarios. From second step on or onwards, it's kind of not common. So I'm not taking the second step under the background. Okay, like this three uh, feature files I updated, close all. Now, mm, in the previous session, we created this runner class, which will run all these feature files as a batch. Let's run this and see whether all the things are running or not. Run as JNET test. Let's see whether it is running all the feature files or not. Okay. Simply go to the JNA tab. It will be more clear for us. You see, expand this user login. All the five scenarios got passed. Okay. All the four scenarios got passed. All the three scenarios got passed. Everything is working fine. And you can see the 
console also for the print statement you see user got navigated to login page is coming user got this is a common step right which is under the background now user got navigated to login five times it will be there user got navigated to login page last time user got navigated to login page after login then restart also one step there okay use uh, user got navigated to restart account page uh, user got navigated to restart account page then uh, user got navigated to restart account page like that multiple times it is coming okay four times it is coming user got navigated is a on page coming to search also uh application got opened is a common step application got opened application got opened you see every time it is coming that means uh the background keyword is perfectly working fine okay background keyword is perfectly working fine guys okay so i think one console is closed let me see if the console is coming again or not yeah console is coming done fine guys uh that's all about the background keyword there's nothing much okay we have to use a background keyword like this uh to uh, to segregate the common prerequisite step from all the scenarios in the same feature file. Okay. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.